Hello everyone, Big Red Mad again. Um, I'm back where I left off in Fallout 2. Uh, I <laughs> I have saved finally this time. I remembered. Uh, also I did figure something out, which kind of makes this whole like that whole endeavor pointless. So I have some questions for you first. Well, what would you like to know? Uh, why do we have to fight? The path of the chosen one is not an easy trial to walk, Batshu. You. you will be for you will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult one, the most difficult of these. Why does it do that? I hate that. <laughs> the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human, look him in the eyes, and know what to do when you have to kill him. I disagree with you. I think there's a peaceful solution to any problem. You may be correct, Matthew, but not in our current situation. You must defeat me to succeed. Look, I don't know all your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other? Let's just end this, ra end this now rather than taking that chance, okay? Hmm, I see your point. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and he just goes. <laughs> you can't see, but I'm like... Face palming so bad. Anyway, so yeah, we could just wait, wait, hold on. Because I think he puts our stuff in this chest down here. Hold on. Run, Matthew. Does he? Okay, no, I'm just gonna close the chest. Okay, he does not. I just assumed he would. Oh, also, I used an over. I used like an over. I made like an overlay thing for the original episode that I put out. I don't like it too much. I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore. <laughs> That's just me. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to deal with those black bars. Ooh. Ah yes, the Vault Thirteen jumpsuit. Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? Very well. Um, give me one moment, old lady. Chosen One? Why are you here? <laughs> what was I supposed to do again? Pay attention. Find the Holy Vault 13 and bring back the Gak. Vic, the traitor from Klamath, brought us the flask from the Holy Thirteen. Start your search with him. The disc will remind you of your task. May the gods of the vault watch over you. Before I go, I have some questions. What do you need? Tell me about the Gek. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More, I do not know. There's more I want to know. What do you need? Never mind. <laughs> she didn't even tell- can I like steal from her? Oh hell yeah, a knife. Okay, I can't actually. Let me look at my- a sharp bladed cutting and stabbing weapon. Minimum strength two. See, I'm better with small guns. If you guys could have like a gun, that'd be great. Oh hey, is this that guy? Hello, chosen one. Can I help you in your quest? Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking around the vill uh the village one last time before I leave. Gods give you speed to bring the Eden victory for it. Bring back the Eden before it's too late. Can you tell me where I can find some healing herbs? Oh, you're testing me. Go see Hakunin in the northern corner of the village. Is it Hakunin? He makes our medicines. Okay. I'm just kind of exploring now, though. Oh, wait, I have a level. Hold on. 
Isn't that my pit boy? No. Was that my just my character menu? Probably just my character. Menu. Yes. <laughs> it is just my character menu. Ah, <sighs> what should I go for? Maybe I'll get small gun. Oh god, that went up quick. Get small guns up to like 60 at least. I want to focus on my tagged skills right now, I think. Because I think I'm probably going to need them. Just for now. And then, like, when I get further in, I'll focus on other things. Because I'm sure, like, I'll have enough... When I've played Fallout 1, I had I had enough stim packs. I don't think I used first aid or doctor very much. Well, I think I did use doctor a lot. For, like, broken limbs and crap. So maybe doctor, but doctor's super low, because... I'm a gunsman. Jim, not a doctor. Oh no, did I? Okay, I did. Wait, no. Okay. Oh, this is the medical tent, obviously. There's nothing on the shelf, damn it. Also, before I do anything and, like, get myself killed... Yes, it's also I called this YouTube restart. <laughs> Chosen one. The way you use a spear. You'll be meat for geckos in no time. I can show you a few tricks. Sure. This will take a little while. What will he... You're a swift student. It looks like you've learned all I can teach you. Thanks, Jordan. That's going to help a lot. Is it? Let's try. I mean, I've always got the strong kick to fall back on. Okay, so they, so they said the northeastern corner, right? For the, uh... No. Because that's, that does not look like a healer. Or they, or do you mean leave out the northeastern corner? Can I do that? No, but I can't leave out the western, northwestern corner. Why aren't you moving? Oh wait, I forgot, because you can't. After a certain distance, it's just non-travelable. At least sometimes it is. Like, if you click an X anywhere in the map, you just will not move. It's like, I can't do it. Some junk in a bed. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. I want to try out the spear, because he... Let's see how much better he made, made me. Unless these are nice geckos? What the fuck? It's a Brock flower. And a Xander. Oh my gosh. A barrel cactus. Oh god. Yeah, watch out for the fucking radiation. Jesus. <laughs> Is there anything? Did I like. Did I go here for a reason? I uh, no, I did not. Alright, very carefully walk. This is why you don't turn the auto run on. Isn't it? Oh, I'm just gonna get hit. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> This is the worst place to go. Wait, why are they... Was I just that sneaky? Oh no. I have an even worse chance of hitting. <laughs> I'm gonna die out here. Uh... Ah! Look, when all else fails, the strong kick prevails. Never mind, no it doesn't. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going this way. Ah! 
This is a mistake. If I can at least kill one of you. Oh no. How can I like... Severely wounded. Uh, you're, you're trapping me in a corner. Ouch. <laughs> oh, this is it. <laughs> oh my god, did the game... I thought the game crashed. I got a no responding thing. I was like, oh my god, did I just crash, dude? Oh, gods. Let me just load this, because there wasn't even really a point of coming out here. Alright, we can leave out the bottom of the village, right? Yeah. But there are a few people. What's this guy? Fear just crying about something as usual. Oh, is this the... Isn't there a guy? I think this guy looking for his... Never mind. Never fear. I will use my non-repairing skills. Don't worry, I got this. Oh my god, I actually did. <laughs> I actually did it. That's my nephew? God oh, damn, my nephew's huge. Also, I just need some, like, guns, please. I was brought up in a, in a tribal village. And learned how to how to make guns. I mean, not make guns. And learned more how to use guns than anything. Give me that. I'm gonna need that in the future, probably. Marley's one of your aunts, the one who never liked you. Why don't you bother me, nephew? Can't you see I'm busy? Well, go fuck yourself too. I'll steal from your house. If you have anything. Oh, hell yeah. Just like that. What is this? Money. Exactly. Wait, isn't Lucas a companion? Pretty good. Maybe you need a warrior's help. Sure, what can you help me with? I know how to fight with fists and feet. Think you can learn that? What can you teach me? I could teach you enough to fight better if that would make us that would take us all of one day. Wait a minute, I just realized. Wait, don't, do we have a time limit? Oh god. Do we have a time limit? <laughs> just wasting a whole bunch of time. Alright, before I leave anywhere, this is my main save, so I'm just gonna. People gotta rev their engines. I don't know if that came through. <laughs> Wait, I can't search that. Okay. I can't search that red pot? You see, you see wall. No, I see a person I was trying to talk to. Alright. Hello, Chosen One. Off to find the Gek? Uh... Yes, but I was wondering about your spear. It looks a little different. My father taught me how to make stronger blades than most. Get me a piece of flint and I'll make you a spear too. You'll need it in the wilderness. Where'd I get that? They say your Aunt Marlis has been hoarding a piece. She's so ill-tempered, I don't think anyone's asked her. Of course, the witch will want something in return. Oh god, they all don't like it. Wait, hold on, I have to see now. Auntie! I would like this spear, please. She's over here, isn't she? Yeah. You cannot get there. Yes, I can. He's moving. Uh, Minox said... Minox said what? Out with the child. That, uh, you might have some flint. I do. 
You want some? Is, is that it? Well, yeah. Well, I want three doses of healing powder. Bad times are coming, and I'm going to... I'm going to be ready. Bring them to me, and you can have the flint. Yes, ma'am. Wait, how many do I have? I only got... Alright, you know what? Just in case this is, like, the worst idea ever. Because I do want to see what that does. Wait, did I give him to her? Ah, yeah, I did. I have a flint. Yo. <laughs> hey, man, I got the flint. Can you give me a spear? It's a good, it's a good piece. Give me your spear. Now you put the pieces like so. And here's your new spear. Sharpened spear. I don't know what the dirt. Okay, whatever. I guess it does more damage. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see if that kills me in the long run. That choice of mine. Alright. We'll go into Klamath. Because we gotta find, uh... Our boy here. I mean, it's been quite a while since I've, I've played a game like this. Oh my. I've also got Baldur's Gate. I've also got Baldur's Gate uh, 1 and 2. That could be fun to play. You could s <laughs> Everyone could see how terrible I am at those as well. You see a sickly man dressed in, a very, in very dirty robes. Hello there. I haven't seen you in Klamath before. I'm Aldo, the town greeter. It's my job to greet anyone new in town to answer any questions they might have. About about a bucolic little bird. Welcome to Klamath. Who might you be? You don't need to know my name or anything about me. Go away, you filthy drunkard. <laughs> uh, thanks for greeting me. I'm just a traveler. Well, stranger, since you're new to these parts, you probably won't. You probably don't. <laughs> Know that, know that, it's customary to tip the town greeter before asking any questions as such. What? You should give me a tip just so I won't take the time to rid Klamath of your filthy hide. Thanks for nothing, hope you stay in town, hope you don't stay in town too long. Fuck you. You're a shyster, that's all you are. There are several things here, some, some ads, job notices, and even a drawing. Been here for a while. A crude drawing of what looks to be a Brahmin with a big X through it, and the word Tor is scrawled underneath. Something about booze. Booze. I got you. Got your attention, didn't I? Bum Lang present. Oh my god. Bum Lang prevents business. Need help refueling still. Speedy and reliable. Type needed. See Whiskey Bob over at Ma Buckner's place. Some lizard hides, something about rats. Wait, someone's gone missing. Missing person. Has anyone seen Smiley the Trapper? Smiley's about six feet tall, clean, and housebroken. Disappeared up north, and I kinda miss him. Arden Bucket. Hey, who's this? Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's a planet citizen. It's just some random guy. Alright, let's walk into the bar. <laughs> Town's this just town's person. A sturdy older woman and a, with a tired smile. Hello there, my name's Arden Buckner. And this is my place. Say, you didn't see a trapper named Smiley outside town, did you? He's been gone for too long. Never should have let him go off on, a on that fool's quest of his. Smiley? No, I haven't seen a trapper by that name. Tell me about him. Well, Smiley and me were getting downright serious with each other. I thought I'd finally gotten him to agree to settle down here and help me run this place. But he said he need to go off on one last quest. What kind of quest? A quest to get my swamp back. Well, he called it a quest. He told me he 
thought he knew where all the golden geckos came from, and he wanted to find out. And he wanted to find out for sure. He thought that maybe it was some kind of magical spring, or maybe a hidden cave or vault of some sort. Yeah. Well, I don't really know what all he said, but he seemed real excited about going. But I shouldn't have let him go. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks later getting back. Then he said he'd be, and I'm worried. <laughs> he just ran out of me. Fuck. I'd like to help. I can look for him. Oh, thank you. Let me look, mark it on your map. I'll see what I can do. Let me ask you something first. Uh, I was wondering if you're the person who talked about local events and news. You should talk to my daughter, Maida. Okay. Older man with a scraggly red beard, scraggly beard and big red nose. Howdy, stranger. My name's Whiskey Bob. What's yours? Matthew, nice to meet you, Whiskey Bob. Always nice to find another drinking buddy. Wanna buy me a drink? Talking always makes me thirsty. <laughs> With a nickname like yours, Whiskey Bob, maybe you should be providing the drinks. Huh. If you're not gonna get if you're not gonna be my drinking buddy of mine, then get. <laughs> I guess this is a. Uh, well, there's a tall man here. What can we and I do you for? What can we and I? What can uh let's see. Ever heard of a geck? Never heard of it. But Maida's been keeping us busy. Who's Maida? She's the boss. We pay off and go find sis. Okay. What can we and I do you for? Uh we're gonna find a trader healer or room. So many questions. Maida takes care of two okay. and I do you for. What can we and I do you for? I have some questions. Wait, who's we? The spirits with me, friend. They be all around. Sometimes talk. Kinda like extra bats in the belfry, huh? That'd be funny, friend. At least Grampy Bone thinks so. He say you got wit. Say you're gonna need it. Who's Grampy Bone? Him strong spirit. Much honor carrying him. Wait a minute. You mean that bone in your nose? Keep him close. Easier to touch his spirit. That's why he talked the most. I mean, I can only hear you talking so far. <laughs> we gonna get along just fine. <laughs> we and I know many things. Travel from great salt water to home of biting lizards. Great salt water? The tribe's home is next to great salt water. Two moons from here, friend. Two moons? That's a long way. How'd you travel so far that safely? Friend, with all the spirits walking with me. Not afraid to travel anywhere. Okay, let me ask we you something and else. I be glad to answer. Geckos. The little dudes don't fight hard. It's the goldens. They go through your leg like an old pipe stem. We God and damn, I and I got killed by some already. Why did you travel so much? Trader named Vic's supposed to be here. He be saying he know about slavers. We show up, didn't peep him. Get pretty hot. We and I be glad to answer. Slavers got our sis. Don't Vic be having information. Couldn't peep him. Got P.O.'d. Drank like a fish. Spirits of anger and chaos pop out and now we have to pay some coin to make it right. You were looking for Vic the traitor? Vic the traitor more like. Comes to village, says he knows about slavers. Tells us to come see him. We go. He ain't there. Your sister was taken. Sis went trading at another village and never come back. We and I go look for her. What'd you find? One survivor. Dude was in bad shape. Said evil warriors came with magic torches. Fire would lick tribe warriors and they'd go to the spirit. And your sis? The evil warriors tied up the rest and took off. Sis with them. Friend, we be finding her or die and trying. Sounds like slavers to me. Have you found anything out about them? We and I know they are slavers at Din. When we're free, we're out of here. We and I be glad to answer. What can we and I do you for? Alright. Man, we've already got some intrigue going on. Because I kind of want to know about them slavers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to end that one. That episode here. Uh, next time we come in, I'm going to be talking to Maida in here. Well, well the other not okay hold on not this lady 
one of the Anyways, we're gonna get some more information about the town. Uh, we're gonna start learning more more things, kind of get the swing of things. I've made it out of the original area, which is huge, <laughs> because the first episode went not so swimmingly. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. If not, dislike is perfectly fine. If you really enjoyed, maybe consider subscribing. I play a whole a kid's back, and he ran through the wall. I play a whole bunch of different things. Um, whatever kind of strikes my fancy at the time. But yeah. Um, if you, if you really like that, do subscribe, but, uh, nevertheless, I will see you in the next one. See ya!